state lawmakers in Albany are debating a new law today safeguarding sex abuse survivors. If passed, the Child Victims Act will expand the statute of limitations for child sexual abuse victims and create a one-year period where victims of any age can bring lawsuits to the table. I-Team Chief Investigator Charlie Specht is in Albany tonight with more. That's right, we're here at the state capitol on what is expected to be a historic moment here for victims of child sexual abuse as a state legislature set to reform what some are calling its antiquated sexual abuse laws, which would allow children who are abused uh, by institutions such as the Catholic Church or public schools to now go for remedy in the state legislature and to sue or take these charges criminally when they become adults. This is a moment a long time in the making here and it really all started about one year ago when abuse survivor Michael Whalen stepped forward and said he was abused by Father Norbert Orselitz at St. John Vianney Parish in the Diocese of Buffalo in Orchard Park. Now we travel here with Michael Whalen and this is what he had to say about this day. It's just been an amazing year to step out publicly about the abuse and to be here now for this passage I, I wouldn't change nothing I'm so glad that I came forward that it's finally gonna happen that this child victims act is gonna pass finally after 12 years and uh, it means a lot to me and my family and to all the victims that uh, have been hurting and waiting for this moment. Now lawmakers are still debating this as we speak, but they are expected both in the Assembly and the Senate to pass this Child Victims Act. No word yet on when, on when the governor would sign this, but he has indicated he has every intention of signing this in the law. Coming up here at 6, we will give you another update from the state capitol here in Albany. From Albany, Charlie Speck, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Charlie.